Hey Cancer, welcome to your spirit messages for eclipse season. I am Charlene Lizette. Whether you are new or whether you are returning, a massive thank you to you. If you've never seen my spirit messages, please know that I channel directly from source. I'm in between the realms, so weird things may happen. Lights flickering, me, my eyes rolling back, my voice sounding different, speaking differently. All those things are very natural as I'm sitting between the realms. I do pull out six cards from the tarot, and I also pull out uh, some cards from Oracle as well, okay? Your home life will definitely be illuminated during this time and the relationships that you have at home as well, whether they be in your own home or the home that you grew up in, okay? Some of you may even think about moving during this time. You may be done with feeling stuck. You may be over where you live. You may be wanting to move out or break free. I don't know if you can hear that. That just, that sounds like a, a hawk, honestly. Let me pull out the rest of the cards and we'll dive in, okay? Yeah, this is all about you learning how to break free. Your nurturing, softening soul that always wants to care for others forgets to do one thing, and it's one thing that's very important for you to do, Cancer, and that is to nurture yourself. Self-love, self-care is the biggest gift that you can give to yourself. And during this transitionary period where you might be moving from one home to another or where you might be wanting to break free from one environment to open yourself up into another or you're ready to take a new journey, a new adventure, or walk into a new space as you literally and energetically walk through the portal, the ring of fire on October 14th. What you're asked or being asked, I should say, to remember during this time is the importance of you connecting with your soul, connecting with your highest self, connecting with who you are and connecting to the energy that you are aligned with. And that is the moon. The moon energy is going to be very potent and very strong for you during this time, okay? So pay attention to the influx, to the wave that's happening. You have healing is happening. You're not broken. Trust the process. It's safe to soften. You have forge. Don't follow. Pave a new path. Be the leader you wish you had. And you have share your voice. Come out of the cave. Persecution expression. I think many of you are really breaking free from some sort of toxic or a difficult dynamic. And you're healing and you're finding your voice and you're finding your courage and you're finding your power and you're finding your light and you're shining it out into the world. And it's really beautiful, but also really scary. See, because you got the chariot here showing up and this is you and your power, my love. This is you taking charge. And in this particular chariot, there are no horses. You are leading with your heart. The Page of Wands and the Four of Cups is telling you that you have this fire, this new exciting ideas, this passion, this light that you want to pass on to others. But it almost makes me feel like wherever you're currently at or if you live with somebody or whatever the environment is that you're in, your work, your, your friends, whatever, they don't see that light. They don't get it. It's like you've got this powerful energy here and they're looking at it like it's nothing. And you're just like, I don't even know how to explain this to you. This is so powerful. And they're like... You know, you've got to start shifting and transforming your friendships, your circles, and start involving yourself and surrounding yourself with people that are more aligned with you. With the Four of Cups here, meditation, stillness, um, a yoga, okay, any type of spiritual practice during eclipse season will be very beneficial for you because you'll be able to understand more and more how to be the leader that you wish you had, how to pave the way, how to heal, and how to finally come out of the cave, come out of persecution, come out of feeling trapped, okay? You even got Celine as your amulet. Celine is literally the amulet designed for you, Cancer, and you're showing up here in the chariot as well. So like I said in the beginning, you're going to be very much aligned with the moon energy. This piece, Celine, has aquamarine, blue lace agate, amazonite, moonstone, and it also has pearls, okay? It's a beautiful piece. You can pick it up at Starcy Jewels. I designed them all myself and hand make them here in-house, okay? With the Eight of Swords, the Eight of Wands, and the Nine of Pentacles at the bottom here, you're not trapped anymore, my love. 
you are learning to break free. You're almost like learning how to show up authentically and unapologetically without anyone stopping you. It's like a whole new you is being born here, Cancer. It's like you're remembering your grace, your divinity. You're remembering your femininity. You're remembering um, the intelligence, the emotional maturity, the intuition, everything that you have that makes you so powerful and so graceful, so nurturing and so loving. It's like you're coming out of your shell and you're no longer afraid to authentically be you and to express yourself in this beautiful, majestic way, knowing, knowing that now, not like before, now, if you show up and own who you are, people will accept you, people will love you, people will embrace you, and people are going to rejoice around you. They're going to celebrate you. They're going to be happy around you. They're going to show you how happy they are. They're going to just emit this energy that's going to make you realize why you needed to remove yourself from all this toxicity, all these challenges, all these difficulties. Why you have to block these people or literally like have a a ceremony of death for them even though they're not dead it's like a release a purge because now here you are remembering this fire remembering this light remembering these gifts that have been given to you and emitting them out into the world and that is so powerful cancer so powerful the eight of swords is telling me you might find little moments here where you're trapped a little bit in your mind but the eight of wands right beside it it's like those moments will be blips those moments will be blips because you're going to learn to transmute. You're going to learn to shift the energy. You're going to learn to work from the negative to the positive. You're going to learn how to transmute and create positivity from difficulty, from adversity. And I'm going to pop this video right here from my channel to really help you out with changing your mindset, okay? With this nine of pentacles, I do see some of you taking a, a journey alone or um, breaking up from somebody or just celebrating and embracing your own energy versus feeling like you need to pour out onto others, okay? Like loving you first. All right, Cancer, if you want to book a session, pick up your amulet, join my private community or work with me in any capacity. It's all in the description box below, all right? We will see you later, alligator. Peace out. Bye.